Okay, Alex, so we're uh, testing your knowledge once again. I'm Mr. Muay Thai beginner coming into your shop. I need to get myself a pair of shin pads that are going to last. What do you recommend? Well, you've said that are going to last, which you didn't just say a pair of shin guards, but let's, uh, let's just go with a pair of shin guards. Uh, I don't have some bad ones to show you. I wish I did. Uh, <laughs> because I could show you everything that's wrong with the budget stuff. And you're talking about a big piece of bone attached to, you know, a couple of joints, which clashes off other big bits of bone and elbow. In terms of vulnerability, this is probably like the most common places people in Thai or kickboxing get injured. Um, whether it's clashing shin on shin, shin on hip, shin on elbow, Sometimes shin on knees the classic, somebody comes up to check it and instead of actually checking it they just knee the guy in the shin. So you need some protection. Yeah? Now there's all manner of different styles of shin guard. I've picked out a few and here's the funny thing that a lot of them are kind of much of a muchness. Um, certainly at fight store we just don't do a budget level shin guard um, because all the budget ones frankly are shit. Yeah, so we don't bother, we don't do it. But this, and Vertex is gonna hate me for saying this, but it's a compliment. This is probably a good budget shin guard. It's 55 pounds, and I can hear the nation screaming, That's not budget. Well, if you were going skiing, a budget set of skis would probably cost you three or four hundred quid. So. Although I don't know anything about skiing, so somebody's probably going to email me and tell me that they can get them for a tenner. But in all seriousness, these retail at around £55. They're synthetic. Everybody thinks leather, um, Vertex are leather shin guards. They're not. They haven't been leather for years. But they're good quality synthetic. The label here says synthetic. Yeah? They don't make leather ones that I'm aware of right now. Um, it's well moulded. It's got a race for the shin bone. They're lightweight, which means, I mean, your biggest protection when you're sparring is staying out of the way of getting kicked. But if you go to do a lot of shin checking and you're drilling, you need that protection on your shins. I see those all over the world. MMA guys love them, Thai guys love them, kickboxers love them. They're a great shin guard. Now, take a look at the length of this. Yeah, everybody's going to think that this is a small or a medium, that's actually an XL. So when you're getting, when you're choosing, don't assume that an XL tag means huge. These guys are made by little Thai guys in Bangkok, right? That is XL, guys. I'm six foot three. It's nowhere near big enough. I'd probably need a double XL. I'm going to go with, oh, I'm just going to go and get another one. Leave it rolling. These big ugly things with a dragon on the front. This is one of two twins lines. This is the Sherman tank of Thai Shin Guards. Um, it doesn't uh, focus on maneuverability. These are leather, they're really great quality. They're 80 odd pounds, 85 pounds. Um, these will last you for years and years and years. If you can put up with them being as ugly as this, that's great, but lots of people pay lots of money for this. Rubbish for maneuverability, great for overall protection. They protect right to the right round from the shin bone and in your calf. However, here are the two compromise candidates. I'm gonna go with that this one. Now, I've been in discussions about whether we're going to discontinue this in favour of a different version from Rev Gear, but this is actually a great shin guard, it's just bloody ugly. Right. This moves great, it's not stiff like a couple of the other Thai brands, it uses opposite straps so it doesn't spin, which anybody who's done Muay Thai for more than five minutes will know that one of the main pain in the ass problems with shin guards is when they spin on your shin when you check. They cinch up good and they've got a foam pad on the back which means that they'll cinch up against your calf well. If you've got really big calves, it's dead easy to take the thing off. Yeah? 
So if you need the extra length on the strap because you've got huge coughs, you can take that pad out of the back and that'll sort that out. If you have skinny legs but long legs, you've got the pad which will help it cinch you up. It's a piece of design genius if you ask me. They are leather. And although you're not going to be able to see this, this part is kind of soft. The fact that it's soft, it slows down your impact before the shock goes onto the back layer. This was a really, really good design, but it hasn't been well liked, frankly, because I think it's ugly. But if we're talking about use, that's 55 or 59 pounds. Still kind of creeps into the budget category. I don't think you can get that much better for your money. That's the Red Clear Defender. The last one, I've had to dig this one out of the back. I think this is probably the best shin guard on the market now. Everyone's going to go, where's the Top King? Um, it's out the back. Yeah. It would be a toss up between the Top King and this one. However, most of the Top Kings that come into the UK now aren't made of leather yet again. Reason being it's just too expensive and they don't want to they want to be able to offer a really good wholesale price. But the price from Thailand now is expensive, the Thai bar's expensive, it used to be like 80 to the pound, now it's like 45, so it's effectively doubled in price in the last four or five years. This is full leather, it's the same design as the Top King, it's exactly the same design. The mold is the same, the shin protection is the same, the knee protection is the same. Me personally, I don't like knee protection, I just want to move around. I, I, want, I, I focus more on maneuverability than I do on protection, but this is actually a pretty good compromise between the two. We've got this raised area just to protect, protect the top of the knee. On the back, it's good quality linings. When you're sweating like crazy because it's too hot in the gym, this soaks in and doesn't slip, which is quite often overlooked, yeah? which obviously increases spin. If it's slippy, it's going to spin more. Yeah? Great quality Velcro. It's, it's a fat, fat wide strap, which means effectively that fat wide strap, everyone's going, what difference does that make? Well, the difference is, the weakest part of these is the Velcro. Yeah? The Velcro is what's going to go first. This is not going to die, guys. This is going to last forever. It's this that's going to break eventually. This will last for years and years. You get some shin guards, they've got a strap kind of this big. The Velcro is going to go. Yeah? That's what goes first. So it doesn't matter what you got going on at the front. If this isn't holding it up, it's not going to work out. These are expensive, but frankly, UK public best shin guards on the market right now, Boon Sport from Thailand. So, uh, does that answer the question? Perfectly. <laughs> okay.